Welcome, my fellow YouTubers and gamers, to the Guys Game Viz. I'm your host, the Guy. Today, I'm going to show you when you have pure white character tendency, the item you can get from the Monumental. So here I am, of course, at the Nexus. And you just come right up here. I'm assuming most of you guys already know where the Monumental is. Now, to achieve character pure white character tendency you need to basically never die in human form or just don't die in human form actually I'm sorry no 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 let me rephrase that you can die as many times you could die hundreds of times actually in human form and your character tendency will never go down uh, what actually makes your character tendency go down is invading and killing you have to successfully kill the other player and a killing other NPCs, like friendly NPCs. So anyway, here's the Monumental. This is what they say. The Allies Ring. Now check this item out. It is very, very helpful. Uh, I would say probably one of the best items in the game, really. It says, raises your attack power as a Phantom. Now, it doesn't give you the specific stats. But I believe it's 20 to 25 percent increase on all your attacks. That includes magic. That's your miracle, your uh, you know your standard spells, pyromancy, as well as all your physical damage. All 20 percent extra. Now I don't know if that compounds. So like if you like in my case, I have a falcon. The crescent falcon does magic and physical damage, as well as bleed. Now, I don't think it affects bleed, but I'm not sure if it affects, like, in a compounded sense. Like, like instead of just doing 20% for my Falcon, does my Falcon do 40% more damage? I've never tested that, so don't, uh, you know, don't quote me on anything like that. But definitely 20-25% increase to your damage. Now, of course, it's only when you're a blue Phantom, right? The Allies Ring, hence the name, Allies Ring, right? You're helping another player. It'll boost all your damage, though, when you're helping another player. So, again, it's incredibly helpful. I don't know any items besides the Ring of Magical Sharpness, which I'm wearing now, also does the same effect, but it only does it to magic damage. But there's a handicap to it where I take the same amount of extra damage when pe players or enemies do it to me. So the Allies Ring does that when you're a blue phantom. The Ally Ring, Ally Ring does that when... Obviously, you're helping a player, and you won't get the handicap. So, there's also an opposite ring called the Foes Ring. In fact, let me show you the NPC who gives you that. Uh, Mephistopheles, I think is actually how you say her name. This girl over here. Now, she only appears when you kill Yurt, the Silent Chief, which I showed in an earlier video. Uh, upper Latria, so your is an Upper Latria in a cave or a cage, and so once you kill him, there's no negative effect on your character tendency, world tendency, whatever. You can just kill him, and then you, after you kill him, you have to achieve black character tendency, like pure black. So I'm pure white now, right? So it's the exact opposite, which would be, oh, there you go. Yeah, there's a good example, the Archstone of Digger King. Uh, icon that you guys see there that's what pure black looks like so when you achieve that uh, she will appear again after you're it's dead she'll appear now to get the foes ring from her it's really a I'm gonna do a different video on it because it's something you really want to do at the end of the game because she wants you to kill everybody at the Nexus like literally I think the only person she doesn't want you killing is the maiden in black and the Crestfallen Warrior. I'm almost positive she wants everyone else dead. Let's see, yeah, Bjor, uh, Ostrava. In fact, let me just show you where all the locations are, too, in this video of all the NPCs. So here's Bjor of the Twin Fangs. And then Ostrava, Balataria, which you'll... See him in my other videos too of trying to uh, rescue him. 
Uh, here's the Crestfallen Warrior. And, of course, we all know Thomas, Stockpile Thomas. And then uh, Blacksmith... Uh, shoot, I always want to call him Ed because Ed's the other one. Baldwin. Um, so besides Stockpile Thomas, Baldwin, the Firekeeper, I guess you could call her, or Maiden in Black, and then the Crestfallen Warrior, every other NPC... Mistoff, Mistoff, I'm just going to call her Mephisto for short. But she wants you to kill all the other NPCs. And of course, you got to do them in a certain order. If you don't do them in the right order, she'll, uh, she'll skip the rewards. Um, you do get colorless demon souls from killing Bior. And I may, it might be Ostrava, no, Ostrava's Talisman of Beasts. You get Talisman and Beast for killing Estrava. You get a Colors Demon Soul for killing Bjor. Um, I think it's for killing Saint Urbane and his followers. Uh, say, yeah, Sage Frake and his apprentice are another target she'll want you to kill. The last one is going to be Yuria. So if all you want is the Foes Ring, you just got to have all the other NPCs killed. But it wouldn't make sense to kill them and not get the rewards because it's so easy, right? Um, seriously, you can use poison, you can just backstab them and do a critical, you know, hit on them using the, uh, oh, I can't remember what ring it is. There's so many tricks you can do, because they're just, you know, sitting around here helplessly, right? So, again, the foe's ring is the opposite of the ally's ring, meaning when you're an invader, if you equip the foe's ring, you get really strong as the invader. All your attacks do 20 plus uh, extra damage, 20% plus extra damage. So again, guys, I'll, I'll be doing another video on that later. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.